Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello and welcome back. Problem 1-36. So statement is average normal stress developed in section AA of front buckle and the bolt shank at B and C are not allowed to exceed 15 ksi and 45 ksi respectively. Determine the maximum axial force P that can be applied to turn buckle and each bolt shank has diameter of 0.5 inch. So you can see this is the bolt shank and this is turn buckle. So it is given that stress in turn buckle which is stress sigma AA that is allowable that should be equal to 15 ksi clear and stress in this shank bolt shank sigma B or sigma C that should be should not exceed or it should be 45 ksi and should not exceed 45 ksi so you have to find the maximum load p that can be applied on this system so that allowable stress in shank should not exceed 15 ksi and in bolt shank it should be 45 ksi so let's start with the solution so again the normal force developed in section a a of the bracket and the bolt shank can be obtained by writing down the equilibrium condition for that uh, for this uh, turn buckle clear so we have to cut the cut this uh, turn buckle over here and we will draw the free body diagram just like in our previous problem 1-36 so I will draw the free body diagram so this is this system is like that so this is the internal system Here you have this bolt and there is a load P is applied. This is again section AA clear. So here the normal load will be equal to NAA and again here the load will be NAA clear and this is load P. So from our first equilibrium condition that sum of all force along X direction must be equal to zero and taking this force in this direction is positive so from here we can see p is positive and naa is negative minus naa their sum must be equal to zero so p minus two times naa is equal to zero so it means that p is equal to two naa or naa will be equal to divide by 2 clear okay again this we have given that sigma a a allowable is is equal to 15 ksi clear and this sigma a a allowable is again equal to n a a divide by area this this is equal to 15 ksi this naa is equal to p by 2 so we will write it p by 2 and this multiply by one area so area over here you have this cross sectional clear so area will be equal to 1 multiplied by 0 0.25 which is equal to 0 0.25 inch square inch so I will write the value 0 0.25 that is equal to 15 ksi so 15 into 10 is power 3 psi clear and when you solve this you will get the value of p so p will be equal to 7.5 pound or that is equal to 7.50 Kips. Also, uh, this is the load. This is the value of load there. And this load is only for uh, this. Uh, I will check it. 
this turnbuckle clear now you will find the value of p for this bolt shank again if you cut it so you will get this is p and there will be a normal road n b clear so from our uh, equilibrium condition sum of all force along x direction is equal to 0 so we will there is two force so it means that p will be equal to nbb nb clear now you have this value again you you can find the stress in this uh, bolt shank clear and that will be equal to nb divided by area of this uh, bolt clear so nb is all, all again equal to p clear divided by area is equal to pi by 4 the, the diameter of this bolt is given as 0 0.5 inch clear so 0 0.5 whole square again this this is given that stress in bolt shank should not exceed or this is allowable and it should not exceed 45 ksi so 45 ksi is equal to 45 into 10 to the power 3 psi is equal to p divided by this area pi by 4 into 0 0.5 whole square is equal to 0 0.1963 inch square so from here you can calculate the value of p and this p is equal to 8.8336 pound or you can say it is equal to 8.33 kips so for this bolt shank the load is equal to p now we can see that we have two loads one is this one and the second one is this one so we will choose the smallest so the smallest the the value of this answer will be equal to 7.50 kips that can be applied on this system so that allowable stress in section a is should be will be equal to 15 ksi and in bolt shank it will be less than 45 ksi some of student may ask that why we did not choose this value again i will explain it that if you choose this value clear so you can see for the load of allowable stress of 15 ksi the load come out to be 7.50 kips but if we apply a load of 8.33 kips so it will exceed the stress allowable stress in this section which will cause the failure over here so that's why we have chosen the smallest value because the smallest value if you put the smallest value over here clear so it the stress should be less than 45 into 10 to the power 3 psi that's why we have choose the smallest value so the answer of this question is p is equal to 7.50 kips can be applied on this system so that it may be safe and will satisfy these two conditions. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.